as you can see, right? As you can see, the maximum stress, shear stress, sorry, occurs at the what? Exact plane. And exact plane is what? Out of plane. There's always a misconception that the in plane always will have the highest shear stress. Not true at all. It depends on the stress state condition, right? So from here, we know that tau max is equal to uh, tau max at its xz plane. And we know that it is going to be the what? Out of plane. Okay. We know it's out of plane. So this will be equal to stress x. Right? Uh, plus by stress z divided by 2. And this can also be stress x divided by 2 as stress z is equal to what? Is equal to 0. Okay? So if we call, if we address stress max is equal to stress x and stress mean is equal to stress z, which is equal to zero. So now if we label this point over here as stress max, and then we label this point over here as stress mean, right? And then the formula over here will become stress max will be equal to stress max divided by two. And this is for condition number one. Where stress X is greater than stress Y. Both are positive. Or we can call it both are tensile. And stress Z is equal to zero. Okay. So this is. Okay, this is one condition. Okay. For this reason, this is why we have to analyze this stress state using what? 3D mole circle. If we were to only use 2D mole circle, or when we analyze the, the what? If we analyze just play, uh, XY plane, the in plane, your tau max in the XY plane will be very small. Okay. And, and why it's important to, to uh, calculate or determine the maximum shear stress is because most of the ductile material fail in what? Fail in shear. Okay. So that's why it's important that we have to know 3D circle because what we are dealing in real life, like we have done what? Combined loading. It's in 3D. We have to use 3D circle to analyze the stresses of combined loading. You cannot just use uh, 2D mode circle. No, you can't, okay? You have to be sure to use 3D mode circle, okay? Now we use, we now we look at another condition now. We look at another condition now. So condition number two now. Okay, so this one was condition number one. Okay, so we are going to look at condition number two. So for condition number two is stress X is tensile, stress Y is compression, and stress Z is equal to what? Zero. Okay. So now we will construct uh, mole circle now. Now we will construct mole circle. Okay, 3D mole circle. Okay. So we are given that this is our normal stress.
this is our normal stress and then over here this is our shear stress element rotate clockwise element rotate anti-clockwise and we know now that this is our stress z line and we know that stress x is positive This is our stress X line. And our stress Z line, uh, stress Y, is compression. Okay. So we know that this is our point. Point X, point Z, hold on. This is always a point X, point Z, and over here, this is your point Y. All right, so we start joining the circles. Okay, so let's draw XY plane first. Okay. And you realize now the XY plane is the biggest one. Okay. Three. Hey. So we know. No one, there's something wrong with my circle. I maybe calculate two, four, six. 8, 14, 7, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 4, 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, oh, 6, sorry. Okay, so when it touches, how come it does not look like a circle today? Is it me or? Wait. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So it's six from the top. And six to the bottom. Two, two, four, six to the bottom. That's more like it. Okay. So this is the circle for your XY plane. And we follow the element before. This is your in plane. Okay. Then I will draw the other two circles. So the next two circle, I'm going to draw our exact plane. Do it. Right. So this is your X Z plane, and this is the out of plane, and finally, we're going to draw our last circle. This is your Y Z plane and is your our plane. So for this case, we can see right the biggest circle over here. This correspond to your Which is you now this is our 
comics, right? Is now on your uh, comics is now on your. Which is on our X Y plane, and this is your maximum size because it has the biggest what circle, right? So now this belongs to your in plane now. So when that's the case, we can we can see that uh, tau max. will be equal to stress x plus by stress y divided by 2, right? And we know that over here, this is your stress max. And over here, this is your stress mean because it's the biggest circle, right? So from here, you can write stress max is equal to stress x, stress mean, is going to stress y. So tau max is equal to stress max plus by stress mean. And then we just need to divide by 2. Okay, so this is for condition number 2, where stress x is positive, stress y is negative and stress z is equal to zero okay right i'm going to stop over here okay i'll continue the third condition on thursday and then we do an example on 3d mode circle thank you for your time and attention